And this is a bill that will hire thousands of new border agents, a bill that will finally reform asylum, a bill that will commit billions to stop the flow of fentanyl, a bill endorsed by the National Border U Patrol Union and the Chamber of Commerce and the very conservative Wall Street editorial page. So to my Republican colleagues, you wanted this border bill. Today we vote on this border bill and it's time to show you're serious about solving the problem. Look, I understand that today's bill is not gonna win every single Democratic vote or every single Republican vote. That was never the goal of this bill. The bill was rather to come, with, come up with something that could get 60 votes, a majority on both sides of the aisle. That's how it was crafted. And it's far different than what the Republicans have done. Look at what happened to H.R. 2. It didn't get a single Democratic vote here in the Senate. It did not even get the support of every Senate Republican. If anything is political theater, it's H.R. 2 not designed to solve the problem. It's designed to make a political point. The bill we are bringing up was designed to solve the problem. And Republicans and Democrats labored together in good faith to get that done, and it would have gotten done had Donald Trump not said, I don't want this done, blame it on me. I want chaos at the border so I can win re-election. That is not what the American people want. As I mentioned, that's what the, po the polling data is clearly on our side. The bipartisan border bill is something so different than H.R. 2 because it is a serious attempt at legislation that Republicans helped put together. Now, people might forget that there was actually a lot of bipartisan interest in getting this bill passed before Donald Trump killed the bill and told the country, please, blame it on me. That's what he said. Blame it on him. My friend, the Republican leader, openly admitted that, quote, it's actually our side that wanted to tackle the border issue. We started it. That's what Leader McConnell said. My friend, the senator from Texas, similarly said, it makes no sense to me for us to do nothing when we might be able to do things better. That's just what we're doing today, I would say to my friend, the senator from Texas.